Snow seal is snawsome, which is shorthand for snow and awesome. Snow seal -erific. It's good stuff, people. I'm going to show you how I applicify it to my various wares. Alright, snow seal works best if you heat up the material that you are going to seal. I will be resealing these gloves through the application because I'm going to use these gloves to do the application. I'm not really worried about the first initial step with the gloves. But the boots, the brogans, clod hoppers, they need to be heated up a little bit. I'm in the garage, it's a little chilly, so let's heat those bad boys up. So I do it. <clears throat> You might want to use a hair dryer. You gotta keep it moving. You don't want to burn your shoestring. Of course you could take the shoestrings out, but I'll seal the tongue later. strings and you just dip it's kind of a petroleum based snow seal is actually not petroleum based it is beeswax waterproofing it lubricates leather and protects against drying and deterioration far longer than greases oils and animal fats snow seal is a natural wax and unlike other products will never weaken decay or break down the leather or stitchings and seams See that? Just rub it in. If you get some on the laces, that's no big deal. We'll just kind of seal the laces too. Rub, rub, rub. See, while I'm conditioning the old boots, I'm also adding a little extra layer to my leather glove as well. No seal is really, really good. It works great. Um, used to do a lot of snowboarding, winter sports, and, uh, and you're constantly just engulfed, covered in snow. You get wet and cold real easy. And snow seal really, really helps. Like I said, later on I'll take out the laces and do the tongue. Um, you know, do it however you want. So. Pretty good on that side. I'll just dip a little more. Okay. Get in there and all those crevices and cracks. See, I just get the seal in there. You let this cure, let it dry, soak in. I don't know if I mentioned it, but when you heat it up, the leather acts the same way as the pores of your skin. You add heat, your pores open up, the pores of the leather open up, the seal gets down in there, and then once it dries, it's sealed you know, sort of subcutaneously below the surface. You like that? Oh, hillbilly's got some big words, don't he? Yep. So that looks pretty good to me. And I'll probably do another, another layer as well. Later on. You can see the difference. I think you can see the difference. See it? Let's go this way. A little bit different. A little darker. It's okay. It just makes them look a little bit more distressed. I'll 
go do the second one. I'm sure you guys don't care to watch it two times in a row. But here it is, Snow Seal. It's very, very cheap. It'll last you a long time. Um, and it just, it just works. It works. If it works, it works. If it ain't broke, you know. Anyway, Snow Seal. It's cold. Wet. Hiking. Backpacking. Survival. Prepping. Preppery. Prepification. Better get you some snow seal, people. It's good stuff. It dries scent free. That's just a bonus. I just throw that in for free. Snow seal. Thanks for watching. This is just fun. <laughs>